What's going on? Jordan here with STL Living and today we got another vlog for you on St. Charles. So let's get into it. I am a real estate agent here in the St. Louis area so feel free to reach out. All of the, the contact info is in the description. Zumbel's where I personally think of St. Charles beginning whenever you're heading east on 70. So this is kind of what the area looks like whenever you get off of the exit, Ameristar over there, Bass Pro Shops, and we are coming up on Streets of St. Charles. Really wanted to give this view because I think it's kind of pretty whenever you first get off the exit. I wanted to start off at Streets of St. Charles just because it's right off the highway and it's a very visually pleasing spot. So as you can tell, this is a pretty trendy area. Kind of give you a 360 view. Those are apartments located above uh, small businesses. Looks like a coffee shop right over there. What I really like about Streets of St. Charles is it seems like they really based their idea of the look they were going for off of Main Street, like that quaint brick look, but they made it very, very modern. So right there is the Toscano's. That's a Brazilian grill, really good. A P.F. Chang's right here. Obviously very good food right in this area. Bar Louie, this is the spot to be if you're trying to have a night out and get something to eat. So here's the AMC. I think this is one of those movie theaters that you can actually recline your chair at and they'll bring you food and popcorn during your movies. You can actually order. Also, I don't know what the deal is with these bulldogs. Is that a bulldog? Am I just, maybe that's like a fat golden retriever. I don't know. Whatever this is, you see these things all around St. Charles and there's, there's something they're going for and I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, there's a Narwhals right there as well. Uh, Drury Hotel. I'll kind of show you the view of the highway. I'll zoom in on a mirror star right there, which I'll take you to in a few. Uh, there's another uh, hotel right across the road. You can kind of see the highway, the car's going by right now. Uh, to give you a reference of where we are as well, I, the bridge is right there. There's the Tucanos. Uh, the Five Guys is located right there, Dewey's Pizza. It's actually been really cool to see the streets of St. Charles blown up like they have and to have something featured here that's just so trendy. So this is whenever you're leaving the streets of St. Charles. I'm gonna take you down this way just because there's some cool homes and apartment complexes. So this is what the area looks like. A lot of multi-family apartment complexes right over here. Uh, my understanding is it's like duplexes up to sixplexes. So there's a view of that. And then here are some more apartment complexes. So here's some of the homes in St. Charles located right across the street from streets of St. Charles. Here we are making our way to the other side of the highway to go check out some places like Quidoba, Bass Pro, uh, and I think Club Venice is over here. I have to get over. So here we are at the massive building of Bass Pro Shop. You can get boats here. You can get pretty much just any outdoor equipment. So right next door to Bass Pro is this strip mall, which features Buffalo Wild Wings, a 511, first in the finish. Not sure what that is, to be honest. Uh, Club Fitness. A Duloth Trading, which is like outdoor kind of a gear. It's actually kind of funny. It reminds me of like a restroom. You got women's gear and men's gear. I don't know. Uh, Dunagrees, Liberty Safety. And obviously from here, you can see the Ameristar. So let's go check out Main Street. And here we are entering historic Main Street. I think it's safe to assume that you can probably tell that we are driving down old cobblestone brick, which is just fantastic for your suspension no but really it's it's kind of bad over here on this end it's been refurbished on the other end maybe i'm focusing on the negative and not the positive but anyway main street features a lot of smaller business which i'm a big supporter of so you'll get a lot of smaller shops alongside of here and the daniel boone home is located down here it's also a fantastic area for you know, evening walks or a first date. Just the look and the feel of being here is there's something very uh, rejuvenating, very refreshing about Main Street. So I try to keep these vlogs, you know, informative and quick. That being said, I'm going to take you to the backside, uh, right down by the Missouri River. Oh, it looks like a festival or something's going on. I know last weekend there was an art festival down here, but it was actually on Main Street. This park, it, it's fantastic. Frontier Park is really cool. As you can see, that's where the Katy Trail is. It actually lines right next to Frontier Park. Uh, really cool walking trails right next to the river. A lot of open 
area and obviously Main Street is right next door. There's the Foundry Art Center. I don't think I've ever been there. What's really cool about Old Town St. Charles and Main Street in general is, as you can see, these are all like, not all, but a lot of these are old industrial buildings, like up here, for example. So these businesses will buy these things out and then renovate them. And this is something I wanted to show specifically because it's new to the area, but it's a climb so ill. They also have one in Lafayette Square located downtown. See up there, I just think it's so cool. It says power plant, right? There's a storehouse. This is an old steel shop. I oh, I think that is just so cool. It's inside of here, uh, Climb So Well is a climbing gym. And as mentioned a second ago, I mean, it's an old industrial building and they completely renovated this spot and put up uh, areas that you can climb at. Uh, there's also a lifting area and some yoga. That is the city government building right here. And this is Sacred Heart. There are a lot of... Uh, Catholic churches primarily around here, and they kind of double as middle schools and elementary schools. This is kind of the last remnants of historic Main Street. So on the other side of 370 over here, there's an area called Bosher Town, which could easily be overlooked. Uh, I thought I'd, while I'm in the area, I might as well show it off, because there is some cool stuff on the outskirts of St. Charles. Um, there's a, a go-karting place, this is very interesting. It's called Dreadful Collectibles. As you can see, a lot of very eccentric stuff that I guess you can put in your yard if it's legal. Over here is a wood shop. I actually purchased a slab of wood from there and turned it into either a coffee table or a desk. Not sure yet. Here's an old pumpkin patch right here. Beyond this point right here is actually a lot of farmland. So just like that, you drive a few minutes outside of St. Charles and it's nothing but farms all the way down from here. Actually located right next to Bosher Town is, in my opinion, maybe the coolest neighborhood in all of St. Charles County, Newtown. Now we begin entering Newtown St. Charles. So this kind of gives you an idea of Newtown overall. I'm not going to spend too much time on Newtown because I'm actually going to do an entire vlog tour of Newtown alone. But this is just one area of St. Charles. So here are some examples of the homes featured here in St. Charles. Obviously varying homes, varying price points. I'm actually really close to Dushan High School right now and just thought it was a good opportunity to show you just the variety that St. Charles offers. So I wanted to stop here. I'm actually in the middle lane and it's kind of a liability, but this is probably the coolest home in my opinion in St. Charles County. The home was actually built by a local art teacher at a high school nearby. And it's made entirely out of storage containers. And we're coming up on Duchenne High School here on the left. Kind of zoom in. Or not zoom in, but pan over. So there's Duchenne, and then you got a local library right up the road from here as well. Here's some examples of homes featured a little bit closer to Lindenwood. So this is a particularly cool neighborhood that I wanted to show off. Um, it's located between Main Street and Lindenwood University. I think some of these homes are actually date back as far as the early 1900s. So here we are at Lindenwood University. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on this tree over here. That tree is like completely sideways. I think I always thought that was the coolest thing as a kid. But Lindenwood has grown significantly in the past few years. That building right there is probably five years old. I'm always so bad with estimating how long it's actually, some of these buildings have actually been around. I'm not going to take you around to Lindenwood's campus, but I am going to show you this newly established area over here. Over here, there's a Schnooks, a post office, an Andes. Uh, Pot Belly, a Mod Pizza, which if you've watched the other videos, you know I love that place. An Arby's, a Cane's. And like I said, it just, to me, it seemed like five years ago, this, this area wasn't here. And then I came home from college one semester and it just was. Not even necessarily sure what this area is called, but I'll just give you a real quick 360 so you can kind of get a feel for it. it. Pretty much all very modern looking brick buildings. Again, a lot of shops, and this is located right across the street from Lindenwood University. Well, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, 
I'm here to help you make a smooth move to St. Louis.